Welcome back, guys. We're going to go into the second best of three here uh, for today's GSL Code S and Group A and TBT. Um, if you're just now joining us, we saw life get wrecked. Yeah, yeah, he definitely Got outlawed that game. Wrecked, wrecked Arena. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty interesting series. I think Myungshik played very well, uh, as predicted, and he's a very strong protoss at the moment, so you cannot... He's got the builds, man. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got the balls, too. Got the balls, the builds, gateways. got it all. Making gateways down there, that's like, oh man, if life had done anything else, but... Uh, I wonder if that was out. planned on that map, or that was because he saw life... Um, did life go three hatch before pool in game two? Yeah. Yeah, he did. So, I mean, that's... Three games in a row, same build. Yeah, I mean, that might have not been the um, the set build he was going to use yeah, at the start of that match. Been. He might have just looked at that and said, wait a minute. The like, thing is, I think you'll always go at least one hatch before pool in there, unless you're zergling rushing. Oh, and sure, yeah. Young Shik, like almost always goes for a gateway at his ramp, which means Zergling Rushes suck. So, like, I think he might also be playing into his own... He countered the build that Life was countering, trying to counter him yeah. with, Yeah, basically. I think, that's, I think that is probably likely, but he could have absolutely just been like, you know what, no, screw this guy, I'm going to kill him with this, he's going to double hatch. Life, very salty right now. Mm. He looked very pissed off in his, uh, his booth. Uh, certainly, he can still get out of this group, but this is a bad way to start off uh, your GSL Code S day. Yeah. Losing to the person... I'd say most people predicted to not get out of the group and to lose to a proxy gate. Well, uh, we'll see if he can get out. He's going to have to play against a very strong Terran next, either Teammate Bomber or Maru, the best Terran in the whole wide world. Uh, this should be like a really excellent TVT. Bomber has very good TVT. He has like a different brand of it as well. So that could be a little bit more difficult than Maru, for Maru than what he normally faces, which is more standard Terrans. Here is Bomber. He is pretty old school at this point in time for StarCraft 2. This guy really began to shine, I believe, about one year after GSL started. Is that about right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah like about he was one talked year. about before that, like but he wasn't talking he wasn't about him. Placing. He was killing the ladder and stuff, but yeah, uh, yeah, he wasn't. He didn't really do anything. And in fact, even when he was playing really well at the beginning rounds of GSL, he never really did it. You know, like everyone's like, "Oh God, he's as good as MVP." That's what all the Koreans were saying, basically. Yeah. Uh, but he, I mean, he, just, he never quite rose to MVP's status. I guess yeah. Life's the only person who's now risen to that MVP That's status. True. That is it. Um, Someone's like, Tasia, no. What about Tasia? Well, guys, he's very good, but yeah. it's not the same thing. And but, uh, we have this guy is pretty much all the Koreans now. back in Korea right now. So GSL uh, was already the most competitive tournament. It's more competitive than ever before. Indeed. Um, and it, the thing is, every year, uh, it will get more competitive. Sure. That's just like the nature of the beast. Like everyone gets better and better. And not there's not enough retirements to make it easier. It's just like everyone's getting better. Yeah. It's just so crazy right now here. But uh, this guy right here, he might be the best player in the world right this moment. We're all talking about life a lot. This guy is such a damn killer right now. He is so good. And I am so impressed with how he's been playing recently. Like uh, let's see. In his last, like, I think it was, I was I was looking through his stats, and, like, in his last, I think, 12 Pro League games, he's, like, 11-1 or something. It's just crazy. He's, he's, he's killing everybody. I think Mario should win I don't this, think this was a good music choice, by the way. Was, uh, <laughs> this was louder in my headset. I was like, what? Yeah. I actually thought somebody was yelling at me from the audience. <laughs> I was like, oh, not now. Well, we have Merry-Go-Round, Expedition Lost, and Overgrowth as the maps. TVT, anything can happen. Bomber, you know, old school by now. Maro, though, currently uh, spoken of as the number one tear in the world. Yeah. Let's he see is, what he happens is. here. Don't forget the loser here has to go up against life. Uh, definitely don't want to have to have your second match before <laughs> your third yeah. uh, to get out of this group against the guy who won the last GSL. So definitely a fight to get out here and a fight to go on to try to beat Nunchik. Well, I'm pretty stoked. Cortez is married around the first map. Could be a crazy game to open with. Alright guys, tell so your friends to tune in, we're going to have a great TDT here now with Bomber against Mara. In the bottom center, in the red, our Terran player, he is... Tsubenu Bomber. His opponent in the upper left, in the blue. Jean Air Green Wings, Maru. You know, uh, 
merry-go-round can be a crazy map. Uh, a lot of drop area, a very wide open natural ramp. We oftentimes see some early game aggression here. So we'll see what these guys want to open up with. Wouldn't be surprised if they go tech uh, before expanding. But Bomber, you know, he sometimes plays the other side of it. Like, he sometimes does crazy stuff, you know? Yeah. But, uh, looks like gas first, not surprised. TBT so. on this map is actually pretty fun. Yeah, pretty it's fun to cast. It's pretty a fun to watch. One. It's uh, hard to contain properly. Uh oh, a change of heart <laughs> here. Flash support will win Code S. <laughs> Crossed out Maru above it. I love it. That's a great sign. Like, that is a very elaborate <laughs> troll. Right? I yeah, like it. Yeah, that's good. I like, I like it. that a lot. It's good. So, um, yeah, it's harder to get contains off on this map. It's harder to actually... This is not even so much a soft soft contain map. Um, you know, we, we talk about hard contains, which are not as common in StarCraft II. They're more common in Brood War, but where you build structures and permanently set up base, mm. or for a pretty long amount yeah. of time outside the base. Soft contains, you just siege up, and then you usually pull out and then relocate. Yeah. This map, I'd say, is one of the weaker maps for TBT soft contains. It feels more like it's kind of... Um, two guys juking and jiving around the yeah, map with their armies yeah. and trying to drop each other just because, in this case, just due to starting positions, it's going to be kind of the, the center of the map and all the way up to the right, up mm -hmm. and, and right. It's kind I, of this free-flowing no-man's land, if you will. Yeah, I think a, 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 uh, you're definitely very right about that and explained it in a very interesting way. I think uh, in it's maybe a slightly easier way to say what you said is this map's really hard to split anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't really divide this map up like slices of pie. Yeah. A lot of maps you can do that, TBT. This map's a little bit weird, just not just because it's three-player, but also the way that they have the uh, fourth bases sort of set up, mm -hmm. which are almost more like you could try to control that and you'll get a little bit less circulation from your opponent, but they can go around you by air very easily. Oh, that was a good scout. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was actually... Painfully good. He knows everything. That is literally all the information right there. <laughs> God, he knows when he got his gas and everything. It's like, wow, that was good, Mario. Good job on you. Um, well, is that really more of Bomber's fault, though? Should he be yeah. those Marines a little bit lower down? Yeah, I don't he know if that was really top of it. Mario's brilliance there. Yeah, of knowing no, that his opponent would have Marines far back enough. That no, you, totally. Even totally. though the totally. worker will die, he gets up there and uh, sees the structures. Agreed there. Uh, no argument for me. Well, uh, definitely a Banshee time coming up. Yep. Of course, Maru uh, quite... Well, actually, I think he's probably just going to go into a medevac here. Uh, doesn't have that single gas yet. Of course, getting his command center a lot quicker. But uh, definitely going to need some Vikings and whatnot to push back on the Banshees. Well, let's see uh, how the rest of this game does turn out. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing is not half the battle of TVT so much. <laughs> Even if you know it's coming, the Banshee yeah. is going to probably do some, G some damage. G.I. Joe advice would not apply as much on this uh -huh. uh, at map. Knowing is not half the battle in TVT, but it helps. It certainly mm -hmm. helps. You just you, you never know necessarily what angle the Banshee comes in, uh, comes yeah. at in, and yeah. uh, even then, sometimes you know, and it still just does the damage anyways. So. Yeah, scans aren't free. So even no. if, if you scan and kill it pretty quickly, uh, sometimes it's still worth it, you know? Well, Banshee is going across the map now. We do have a medevac coming out, but he did go ahead and make a Viking first to do exactly this. Wow, that was a fantastic catch right there. Yeah, Bomber that's good instinct. Bomber has so sad. And it's getting pretty low. Oh my god. My god. And that's right before Cloak finished. Look at that. Boom. Cloak just done now. And that's a really well placed <laughs> one of mine too. And now Maru has two <laughs> turrets about to finish. Like, Maru already is outplaying Bomber. I do wonder right now with Bomber coming out like this, if this is almost like autopilot's kicked in. I don't think so. I think because he's got too much experience. I think he's too good that autopilot's kicked in. I think it's... I think that Maru is actually on a completely different level than other Terrans. Um, but I mean, with this push here from Bomber, Bomber doesn't have anything back home to defend, really. Right? The Banshee is also... There should be a second Banshee out now, right? That's moving somewhere on the map? Yeah, there should is. Be. There is, yeah. Okay, and it's not here. So this just kills everything. Yeah, this is a deadly drop indeed. Actually, nice surround. Especially with the, that uh, Widowmine. Holy crap. And that doesn't oh work. Oh my god! Someone solved that a long time ago. You literally can't kill it before it burrows. 
with SCVs. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice counter push going on. Still could have get some. Oh my god. Oh, you can see he's not quite microing down here. Okay, there we go. But, you know, this Banshee's up here. Problem is that the workers haven't been interrupted yet. Ooh. He gets that one Banshee. Now, the Marines can push forward here, but with the Vikings and the Marines here for Mario, uh, and as long as the... Oh, well, hold that thought. He's going to push the SCVs. Yeah. I was going to say, as long as the SCVs are not under threat by the siege tank, but I guess uh, he just wants to end this here, end this now. Um, now, i got to say, great micro there for Mario. Hey, this is actually... that. That did enough that we can still see this game go forward. It's There's a three SCV lead for Maru, but the player with the Banshee tech is bomber, so maybe he can do something still. Uh, like if he gets some good Banshee hits, but don't forget that Maru has a second CC, so he has yeah, extra that's very true. and extra SCV production. Oh my scans. god, and this is the third Banshee that's going to be picked off with ease. Great control there, uh, and he'll land the Vikings once again here. Now he can actually micro these, even picking up the Vikings. If we can have that one in a hundred games where we get to see a Viking landed inside of a medevac. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I feel Could like be. we should have some kind of punch card here at a GSL. Like yeah. if, you see, if you're here for three games where that happens. Actually, that's a You great get a idea. GSL, like, code S trophy. Because Studios that's should like, do that. That's yeah. really cool. Like, if you're, you, there should be something that is, like that. I mean, how many games have we casted, like, five ever that, a, that a Viking has landed and gone inside of a medevac? But you, you can micro them, just like they're immortals, you know? In and out of a war prism. Sure. You see, like, a draw, like, you get a stamp, you know? GG. That would be the biggest stamp, right? You see a draw. That was uh, a slugfest of a game, but Maru, he punches faster, he punches harder. Yeah. He's, like, the nose in the I, jar where he hits. There's, like, a flow with Maru that I don't see in other Terrans, like, with the way that he plays games and controls everything, because he plays a little bit different than other players, and, like, it's like so but fluid. The there way was he something plays. like yeah, so it's perfect about describe. it. It was it was almost. You know when you play against somebody on the ladder and they do a whole bunch of good moves and you're like, well, that guy's a hacker. I feel like <laughs> if you were to play Mario, you'd have that exact feeling. You'd be like, how did he know that was there? How did he know to drop here yeah. uh, and not defend my attack that was already pretty good? It's kind of like he's Skynet or something. Yeah, he's he's pretty all encompassing when you play against him. I have yeah. no doubt. It is legit so good. Um, I mean, damn. That was, uh, you know, to be fair, Bomber messed up with his Marines, like, gave 100% of information to to uh, Maru there. So, that was a little bit painful. Yeah, it started bad and it ended worse. Yeah, and even so, like, the uh, the fact that he brought over that Widowmine stuff, it almost became, like, a close game. Uh, because Bomber did kill a ton of SCVs with counterattack. I was actually surprised when he pulled the uh, SCVs like that, but I guess it worked out. Mm. Well, he had the two command centers, so I guess he's like, well, yeah. as long as I clean this he, up, I win. You can trade and still be a, you trade in the armies uh, and workers pretty evenly, but still be basically yeah. ahead yeah. because you have uh, better infrastructure to produce workers and mules. Mm -hmm. All right, we are now going to go into game number two. The map is Expedition Lost. Bomber against Mario here at the GSL Code S. You better jump, bitch. Subenu Bomber. Well, I got rushed there with that. Uh -huh. In the upper right. Which is this her rush? What's her proxy gate? In the bottom left in the blue, he is. Gene Air Green Wings Maru. Did you know that a lot of other gamers that aren't StarCraft gamers use the word Zerg to describe a rush? Just like, oh, he's going to Zerg. I him. did not know that. I, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I've actually met quite a few gamers from other games. Uh, and they actually Did you know that any anything that they like think that. is OP they call Protoss. Really? I have heard that. Yeah. I'm serious. I have heard that. Really? Wow. From non non StarCraft games. Yeah, that's I've cool. heard that from some Hearth like Hearthstone people. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, that's just the uh, funny thing about it though is that neither of them would really actually work that much. <laughs> like, if you really think about it, like it's kind of cute, but like Zerg don't actually have to rush. Like, yeah, but like the <laughs> most all. famous rush in the world of video games is the Zergling rush, right? Yeah. From StarCraft One, it's just yeah, like, the oh my pull. god, how do you get these that fast? Like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So bomber going gas first here. Mario gonna go a little bit later on that gas. Artosis is a little bit sick today. Yeah, I've had a cold for the last few days. That sucks, man. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just like a sinus cold or something like that. Oh, no gases for Mario, actually. Oh, okay, late gas, so factory <laughs> after CC. Yep. 
Um, but yeah, it's uh, been a little bit of a sick guy. A lot of blowing my nose. A lot of blowing my nose. It's just, it's getting annoying. And like, you know how after like a couple days of blowing your nose a lot, your nose gets raw? I'm oh, yeah. Right well, you got to get that nice uh, tissue. Yeah, I have the nice Don't tissues. Don't do toilet paper. Everybody's made that mistake. Every nerd's made yeah. that mistake. They're like, I'm sick. I'm at home alone. I feel sorry for myself. Yeah. I got my one roll of toilet paper that I carry from my computer to watch GSL to the end of the bathroom when I got to go. True, true and story. And you end up with a torn up nose. I'm glad that you agree with this. And Actually, eventually, you, you always have a stuffy nose, so. Not I, always, I, I have, I have a lot of allergies, so yeah. I'm a bubble child, man. Yeah. I was raised in a bubble, man. I'm glad and that when we it, my mom on had this. to feed me as a kid, I was allergic to so many things. She had to cover my mouth with, with white paste inside so that I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that part's not true, but yeah. no, I got I got uh, really nose a lot. Yeah. You definitely have a lot of allergies, but I'm, I'm glad that we can bond over the fact that you need the really nice expensive tissues. You do. You do. lotion. Because that is actually, that was a point of contention at one moment. Uh, with my wife, where I was like, no, 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 oh, no, 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 don't ever buy these tissues again. The nice, yeah. oily tissues. Of course, yeah, you want the nice tissues. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, she you know, that two dollars extra. Like, ah. It's like, no. No. I deserve um, the so, best. so now, so did, was that marital dispute resolved? And you it, guys was resolved. Now have, it was resolved. You have the nice tissues. Yeah, yeah, that was, wasn't, good. I wasn't willing to budge on that one. Yeah. Wasn't well, willing. I mean, that's a deal breaker right there, right? It's a that's, deal breaker. What, am I yeah. going to have a, a hurt nose one day into every cold? No. No, I'm going to have a couple days of pleasurable nose blowing yeah. before I have the hurt nose. Absolutely worth yeah, it. You made the right choice. I'm real proud of you. That's good. Yeah. I'll, uh, yeah. What, what is another, I'm, now I'm just curious, what is another dispute you had in the Nothing house? comes to mind right nothing, off the bat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll yeah, come yeah, up yeah, with come. another one. Because I'm kind of a weird guy, so there's some funny ones, I'm sure. <laughs> as you know, as you well know, Tasis. I've traveled with you a lot, man. I know yeah. You've got your particulars. <laughs> um, so, uh, in this game here, we have Mario going for this expansion build mm -hmm. here. Right now, Bomber's build is hinged. We'll see how, how exactly he chooses to execute it, because there's still a lot of different ways you can play this. Mm -hmm. Ter good Terran players are pretty creative with how they engage each other. Yeah. Even though when you see builds looking the same, the angles they come in, whether or not they drop everywhere, or you know, fake a drop and push into the front. Mm -hmm. uh, but Bomber basically needs to do some damage, and it looks like this is going to be a pretty, uh, you know, your, kind of your typical Terran drop. Looks like he should just go into the main here. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, though, what angle he comes in. Is he just going to beeline this? Is he just like going to go over the ramp? Uh, I think he's just going to drop right at the top of the ramp, probably. Okay. He's going to see these Hellions here. He's going to be a little bit careful, spread out his drop as he goes in. Uh, but yeah, he needs to do at least a little bit of damage with this because well, of Marines. how quick that command center is. Oh, the Widow Mine uh, again, Marine there, does pick off some of these Hellions. You know, oh. Right then, these two Hellions pop out. Yeah. Okay, he does manage to save that. Okay. Uh, Widow mine, but remember, there's it's one CC to two right now. So tomorrow would double the production, which really begins to kick in. Yeah. As you can see, Bomber uh, just starting his command center. So there's a little bit of pressure on Bomber to keep the keep the uh, the heat on here. Mm -hmm. And it looks like he may be trying to drop the ramp again, possibly the main, maybe pushing the front. Uh, nice scan there, just to double check and see. Okay, like Sometimes. are there banshees coming or something like that? He needs to know about you that. Know, one thing you can do in spots like this is you can actually fly the um, medevac into the main and then just attack the front with everything. Yeah, he just walks yeah, up, up with the front because uh, if you get control of the bottom of the ramp, it's the same uh, idea as getting control of the top of the ramp back there, where the ramp acts as a big funnel. Mm -hmm. uh, really does not want to lose this medevac. Oh, ooh, that is a bad loss. Yeah, he can't see up the ramp if he gets up that far. Yeah, this this makes so, the pushing a lot harder. That his marines are like so much easier to kill. I would now. say actually, if there was one thing he had to kill to, to really slow this down, that was basically it was to get the medevac. Yeah, because yeah. now the only threat is at the entrance. So Mario just sets up perfectly. And um, there's just no way Bomber will get in. By the way, we can already see the beginnings of the Econ lead. It's 28 workers to 32. Yeah. And that CC's not done yet. So He's starting to pull away with him. Don't forget, he's been getting extra mules this entire time. Yep. Um, yeah. You know, I think one of the important things to point out is when the infrastructure gets added. Because right now they're on very similar production facilities. And that's something you really have to look at in TBT because eventually someone's going to get a unit advantage. And uh, we are seeing Maru get those extra production facilities just slightly quicker than Bomber right now. Yeah. So quicker economy, quicker macro going on. And uh, that definitely can be an issue. Well, you can see uh, Bomber is actually he kept that soft contain there for a little bit. And he's going to try to push in here again. He does have that medevac. There is uh, an Artosilope down there. 
Is that, that the Artosalope? That's a Tasalope. Oh, it's a, oh, is that mine? Oh, this map? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, I know I hunt them quite often. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't eat them yet, right? No, I just kill them and let them <laughs> rot into the <laughs> let ground. Let the birds eat them. Yeah. Um, well, the bunker, not really as important here. Uh, oh. He needs to use those. Oh, wow, Good I didn't expect I that to hit. <laughs> um, I was going to say, the bunker, not too important. Mm -hmm. He may try to go for this drop here. But I don't know if this is Ooh. like the best map to do this on. Ooh, Maru did not react. This no, could be very it. good. Getting a couple tanks sieged up. It's a powerful move. Okay, this is going to be hard to bust. Now. now remember, the uh, medevacs can be pushed back even easier Ooh. here with the Vikings in a position like this. So yeah. uh, actually, Maru eats this no problem. Yeah, that was that was a that nice was, spread. That was He reacted quickly enough. If he had that other medevac full of uh, units dropped out, that would be nice. But the, it was already worked on so much, he couldn't sack it into... The Vikings, he wouldn't have gotten everything out anyways. Well, he's going to try to come up here now. Uh, this is just getting worse because, <laughs> you know, aggression like this is really does act as a double-edged sword. Like, mm -hmm. if you get in there and do the damage, you're going to get that lead. But Bomber is actually losing basically all the fights now. Overall mm -hmm. supply is 66 to 84. And really, in, as far as infrastructure goes, Maru didn't lose anything that mattered. Like, that bunker does not matter. Yeah, he didn't that even bunker kill the is depot there so he landed next to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true, actually. He just put it like to the preview screen. <laughs> he did, it's on fire, but it's not even going to burn down. He yeah. doesn't even have to repair it. It's just a, it's like a baby I mean, fire. who knows, Artosis, maybe Bomber will drop that depot <laughs> later on, and it wasn't repaired, and he gets yeah. it later, and then we could talk about that. He, but he gets I three think Banshee that, hits on that, it's going to start yeah. burning. <laughs> um. So Maru's going to do the counter push now, and this is looking very... He's got uh, the advantage in every way. Yeah. Um, also, there was a good amount of tanks that were also lost there by Bomber. So the tank count now is 4-4. Four to four. So that evened up. Usually when you have a player that opens up like Bomber did, he keeps the tank count as long as he did a good job. But he lost those uh, those two when he dropped in the main. He dropped those two in the main, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dropped yeah. those two in the main. Well, here we go. Like, Looks like Maru has decided like, it's time for the kill. And uh, SCVs are already pulled and already a lot killed off now. 34 to 48. Vikings come out in a similar position uh, as the previous attack to try to drive back uh, these medevacs so that he can't spot up onto the high ground as easily. A small number of Marines on the ground, but more reinforcements on the way. The gas, uh, the refinery, I should say, already destroyed, so no gas being mined. And he's just going to leapfrog these tanks a little bit closer. He wants to be able to hit that command center. He goes Stim's in right now with these Marines. Stim not oh. yet done here for Bomber. Oh Does my god, oh I hadn't man. even noticed that. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, Stim is not done. This is just brutal. Uh, I think we'll be seeing a GG probably from here. The amount of SCVs he's lost. Oh, and he actually just drops back off. Okay. Yeah, slow down there, Slayer's Boxer. All right, he's just going to do those drop tricks and uh, yeah. come right on in. Well. <laughs> okay. Maru, this has been uh, a slaying, Tasteless. Yeah, this has been a slaying indeed. This was GG. GG. It's only uh, one G. There. One G. Uh, Maru just crushed Bomber. I actually thought the CBT was going to be much closer. I, but thought was, I thought Maru would take it, but I thought it would be closer than that. Yeah, this was uh, two very... You know what this looked like? It looked like two very textbook games on the ladder where one player is way better than the other. Yeah. One guy's like... High GM, the other guy was low GM. Yeah. And that's the way it, it went. Two different styles of openings. Um, Maru is clearly, he knows the that type of games, um, those two types of games, all too well. Yeah. It's, uh, well, that means he goes on the winner match against Myungchik. And uh, when we come back from the commercial, I'm going to talk a lot about that. Because they do. played in Pro League this month, and it was an amazing game. So I think that's going to be a really nice match coming up next. Yeah. Um, again, unexpected, I think, for a lot of us to have Nyunchik here. Maybe he gets out first. I mean, he already okay. beat Life. If you can beat Life, you certainly can beat Maro. Yeah. So let's see what happens. We'll be back after this short break.